all, welcome to Steenland Elementary School. We are very excited. This is a first time ever endeavor for our school. We have not had a play like this before. Um, there are a lot of people that we need to thank for probably most of all uh, is Miss Castle. She did a wonderful job. We had some students. She'll be out and we'll do some stuff afterwards too when everybody goes to take a bow. Um, I, I just wanted to give you a quick synopsis of kind of what happened. We had a, a student that grabbed a couple of her friends and then went to Miss Castle with the idea of starting a drama club. And Miss Castle, who does some outside uh, production assistant type things at, at a uh, theater in the area, was like, yeah, I'll be your, your sponsor for that. And that's how this whole thing got, uh, got started. So we're really excited. The kids are just a bundle back there. They're so excited. A uh, couple of quick things to remember. Students, they need to be able to focus and remember their lines. They've done a lot of prep. So we have to make sure, probably more than any other assembly that we've ever been at, that we are paying attention and that we are sitting the right way and watching and giving them the opportunity to do what they need to do. Um, parents, uh, the only thing I'm gonna ask is wait until the end to like hoop and holler and yell kids' names, you know, all that kind of stuff. Obviously there'll be parts where we can clap and all that, but just kind of reduce the, the distractions where we're yelling out people's names um, until the end when we start doing the cheering. I would appreciate that greatly in Soul Day because like I said, they're already a little bit nervous. Um, we want everybody to have fun, have a Merry Christmas. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoy everything today. The kids have done just an incredible job. Uh, I know that we'll do some more introductions and stuff at the end with uh, some of the names that are in your programs and just enjoy the day. So without any further ado, a Grinch told Christmas.
going to cry out, Miss Betty Lou Who. Isn't this a chandelier from the dining room? It's all for the cost, dear. And Sydney, could you be mommy's little helper and unscrew the bulb there from the refrigerator? Because somehow I missed that one. Go on now. Every year, Martha May Hoogier has the best lights. Not this year. I'm going to beat that prim perfect. Oh, well, hello, Martha. Hi, Betty. Bye. I never see someone who's going to be so steady. I'd be a little confused about trying to go with you, Martha May. Oh, and isn't this antique, darling? It's handcrafted and almost 100 years old. Jeez, I'm impressed. This, however, is new. Gotta run. Good night, Betty. Maybe if you were 
unite with the Who's and be a part of Christmas. Maybe if you unite the Who's and be a part of Christmas? Please, you have to accept the award. Award? You never mentioned an award. Yeah, with the trophy and everything. You won. I won? That means there were losers. A town full of losers. All right, I'll come. Who knows? This Hulay should change my entire outlook on life.
find a reindeer. I'll make one instead. Oh, Max! So he calls his dog Max and he took some red bread. And he tied a big horn on the top of his head. <laughs> he just loaded some bags and some empty old sacks on a ram shepherd's sleigh and hitched up old Max. Just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open. 
a minute or two, then the who's down and whoville will all cry. Boo hoo. <laughs> It came without ribbons. 
It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. And the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. And what help is it? Well, in Hoopo, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew two sizes that day. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. <coughs> What's happening to me? I'm all toasty inside. Oh, Max, I love you. Wait, the sleigh, the presents, they'll all be destroyed. And I care. <laughs> I did it. I'm the bitch who stole Christmas, and I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. He said sorry. I didn't say it. He brought everything back in the looks accounted for. He stole Christmas, but he brought it back. So he brought back the toys and the food for the food. He did it himself. Car, the first piece. Merry Christmas, Cindy Lou. Merry Christmas, Mr. Grinch. Merry